In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus strontium chloride. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So I can see right here, I have this ammonium ion. I have two of them. I only have one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium chloride. Now I have two ammonium ions, which is good, and two times the Cl, I have two chlorines. That's okay because I have two chlorines here. I have a carbonate carbonate, those are balanced, and then the strontium and the strontium. And my two is right here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So ammonium compounds, if you know your solubility rules, ammonium compounds are very soluble. AQ dissolves in water, dissociates into the ions. Strontium chloride, chlorides, those will be soluble. And then we have ammonium chloride, that's going to be soluble. And then carbonates, in general, they are insoluble except group 1 elements like sodium and potassium and ammonium carbonates. Those are soluble. But most carbonates are insoluble, and strontium carbonate is insoluble. We're going to write an S because it's going to be a solid. Since it's insoluble, it won't dissolve. It's a solid. And when these two substances react, it falls to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is going to be called the complete ionic equation, sometimes total ionic equation. Ammonium. The ammonium ion is 1 plus. This is one you should remember. And we have two of them. So we have two ammonium ions. And I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the carbonate ion, the whole thing. Another good one to remember, 2 minus. So we have our carbonate ion. Strontium's in group 2 on the periodic table, that's 2 plus. Chlorine ions, the chloride ion, 1 minus. So I have Sr2 plus, that's the strontium ion. And then we have two chloride ions, 2 Cl minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation for the products. Ammonium ion, that's plus, chloride minus. Two ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have the two chloride ions, two chloride ions. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This is just SrCO3, strontium chloride. So that's the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed. We're really not interested in them. In the reactants, I see I have two ammonium ions. In the products, I also have two ammonium ions. I have two chloride ions, and then in the products, again, two chloride ions, cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus strontium chloride. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH42CO3 plus CrCl2. When we look at it, we can see charge is conserved. We have two minus here and two plus. That balances out, gives us a net charge of zero. And over here, we have a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Sometimes we'll see the positive put first, positive ion first. Doesn't really matter. It's the same equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. And that's it. This is the net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus strontium chloride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.